At the heart of Kakamega town is perhaps one of the oldest Indian temple in the entire region. The foundation store of Sri Sanatan Hindu Damal Mandal temple was laid in the late 1950s and works completed in 1960. The temple led to the rise of the first Western Indian primary school in 1960, which was later renamed Kakamega Primary School. Willi Lusige reports. Three distinct and imposing concept domes of the iconic Sri Sanantan Hindu Tharma Mandal Temple stand out like fingers pointing into the sky. The central dome is decorated with five silver urns, at the top of which there is a white flag. The other two domes have two urns each, one with a white flag and the other with an orange flag. When we visited the temple, there were men singing Hindu praise songs while facing Rodrama's statue displayed in one of the holy sanctuaries inside the temple. In 1950s, most Indians lived around Rostaman, located in the outskirts of Kakamega town, near the famous Kakamega gold mine. The temple at that time was called Ram Temple. That's the main name of this premises. Three huge piper trees in front of the temple provide shade where worshippers relax. Faithful believe the trees are unique and God sent. They believe the trees release oxygen non-stop, unlike other ordinary trees which release carbon dioxide at night. Piper tree is a unique tree. This is the only tree known that emits oxygen throughout 24 hours. According to worshippers here, Hinduism is conscious about environment and preservation of trees in nature. Hindu faithful say it is a tradition for trees to be planted around the temples. They later set up an Indian primary school because there was segregation then. The community had built Indian primary school. You know, those were the days of segregation. So Muzungus had uh, their own place of worship and uh, s education. Similarly, Africans had a different. They were not allowed to uh, interact or mingle. The Indian community later handed over their school to the government in 1969, and it was renamed the famous Kakamega Primary School, which is Kenya's third populous public primary school in the country. It was handed over to the government in 1969, because by then, the Indian community and the Hindus population had got down so much they were not able to sustain it. Decades later, the temple remains a key significant landmark cementing the entry of Indian community in Western. What is known as a Muliro Garden, that was Indian club ground. Willie Lusige, KTN News, 